This is a vector design tool that you can use from your browser, which means you can use any old computer laying around, even if it's not a powerful one, and still harness the power of vector, no downloads at all. Let's check it out. So when you log into CorelDraw Go, this is what you're going to see. And it's really cool. You can start a project with one of the templates. It's got all of the dimensions listed below the name. So this is a business card, for example, three and a half by two inches. So if you want to, you can start with a business card. You can even click more and browse more templates. On the top left, you're going to see home. And this is where all of your projects live. I've already created some random ones testing this out, but you should just see home. Now let's just click on these vegetables right here. Cool thing is you can actually edit all of the parts of this vector graphic. So it's gonna be familiar for some of you too. And um, for me, I've worked with vector graphics my pretty much my entire professional career. So I, I was right at home when I started using this. And I think that most of you that have used other software are going to understand what I'm saying there. So really all you have to do is left click twice on certain elements, you can move it around and we can even go further. So I'm pressing control Z there to go back and I can even just select one of the leaves or whatever. So let's try that real quick. So there we go, we're selecting just that one left part here and I can change the color of it really easily. And we can even change the font. We can change the, you know, the text that we want. So maybe we don't want this to say fresh from, we could just say earth or whatever, you know? You could do that here. Obviously you have all of your properties like you're used to seeing in other editors. So you could just, you know, change the font right there, the size. We're not gonna do all that because it's kind of basic stuff to be honest with you. But really the power here is just, it's it's vector from your browser. So you don't need a powerful computer to design anymore. You can do it with a decent internet connection. Now, I will say one thing about this. My internet is terrible and I've noticed it lagged a little bit, but my internet's terrible. It really is, it's slow. I can barely play video games with my friends at the end of the day. We have all of our tools here on the left toolbar. So we'll start from the top. We have our project settings, we have stock assets so you can download vectors or photos and um, you have import so if you have maybe a logo that you want to add in here you could do that right here and then we can even add shapes and they have a really nice library of shapes you know for example maybe we want to add a star here let's go ahead and do that so now we can change the fill if we want to add a fill color maybe we can make it green whatever you want maybe we don't want the stroke we could take that off put that there we can do Control d duplicate it maybe we want to make this one a different color we could do that right here super easy to use guys nothing to it at all and then under draw we have all these different brushes that are pre-made for us so let's just click on chalk and start painting and see what that does there you go so this is actually the painterly brush you can see the name at the bottom here and we go to the next one this is the pen and then this one is the freehand so really cool they have the labels right there it's easy to see you don't have to like wait for a hover or anything like that we can even collapse these if we don't want to see all of these and we just want to focus on one at a time but that's really nice. Now, one thing I want to point your attention to is this like overlay. There's this overlaid texture. We could just delete that by hitting backspace or delete on our keyboard. And now you can see kind of what's going on. So if you're a beginner, you can really get going immediately. You don't have to wait. Now let's go home real quick and let's check out just a blank canvas. So I'm just going to make a poster real quick, or actually let's do a presentation because it's a little wider. So now we have a blank canvas and we could just basically start typing something in with our text tool. So Let's say we want to name this design, why not? And I'm doing Command A to basically select all the text, or you can just click on it. We can resize the text frame, let's call it, and resize it, holding in Control. And if you don't like that font, we could just go pick a different font. And it's really simple because they have all their fonts laid out on the right-hand side there. So it's really not hard to find one. Um, let's go to our Draw menu again, and we will add a chalk brush to this, why not? One thing you'll notice about the brushes too, by the way, is the brush transparency at 100 is basically nothing. It's it's zero opacity and zero is actually 100, it's opposite. So if I paint, now you can see it's at 100%. Maybe we wanna do some scribblies. It's nothing crazy, I know, it's not a masterpiece. We're not gonna sell it at some art gallery, but maybe, you never know. Um, but yeah, anyway, we go to the stock assets, we can start typing in anything we want. So let's say we wanna type in maybe basketball. I don't know what sport you guys are into. So the way you add an image to the canvas is you just wanna click it and then just left click on the canvas and it's going to add it there automatically, which is really cool. Same thing with the vectors, you just left click on it and then left click on the canvas and it adds it automatically. So I'm gonna select this, delete that, delete that. Cool, so now we have just the basketball. And if you wanna center it, you just go to properties on the top right and we can center it. And then from here, we can add some more text. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll just name this basketball. 
I know it's so simple, I get it. <laughs> we'll make the text a lot bigger, but we can just you know, grab these anchor points and resize them holding in control. So we size it proportionately. And you can make this like a sport team logo, whatever you want, I don't know. And we obviously wanna center this too. So let's go ahead and go center with the alignment and that will make it much easier to center it to our artboard as well. So from here, we could just use our alignment option. So it's really easy to use, guys. And if you want to duplicate this, you just go Control D. We'll type in Basketball Club 1991. Why not? And I think we could just basically custom color this and color pick whatever color we want. Maybe we want to make this a two-tone. So this one will be, again, it's under custom color. We could just take one of these swatches. Bam. And then if you want to, you can even add a stroke to this to give it a little bit more pop. And we don't want that to be too thick, but maybe like something like that looks pretty good. And we'll change this stroke color to that lighter color. There you go. So now we have like a little basketball logo, whatever you want to call it. And uh, that's kind of like the workflow, right? Really simple to use, but you're probably asking yourself, what the hell does this cost, Charlie? Let's go check it out. You can try it for free using my link in the description below. For 15 days, you could try it. If you don't like it, you don't have to use it. And if you want to subscribe, it's only $8.33, which let's be honest, it's a couple cups of coffee. That's not terrible at all. I've never been a big fan of subscriptions, to be honest with you guys, but that is not a bad price to pay for all of the value that you're getting here. And I do want to say that Corel reached out to me to sponsor this video. So this is a paid video, but I want to be honest with you guys. I will never be paid to say anything nice about a brand, okay? So whether I'm paid or not for a sponsor, that's how I feed my family. But regardless, if I don't like something, I'm going to say it. it even if the brand doesn't like it, I'm sorry. That's just how I am. Are you guys going to try Corel Draw Go? And if you are, what are you going to use it for? Let me know in the comment section below. If you have any questions at all, I'm always here to help. My name is Charlie Pangas. I will catch you guys in the next video.